Welcome back to the channel and in this video we're going to be looking at fitting a pure highway 400 so what do we have in the pack well we've got the transmitter what we have here or i should say receiver receives the radio but actually transmits to the aerial of the car um we've got this which connects to the roof of the car which plugs into the receiver which we have here we've got the power and we've got the aerial which actually attaches to the window so the front windscreen um i've had to put double a new strip of double-sided tape um what we have here just just to make sure it works is i'm going to, I'm going to power it from the um cigarette lighter so this is just the pack i've opened it up i've read the instructions and uh, I'm going to give it a go and see if it works. Wish me luck. Welcome back. And um, I'm just positioning where the module is going to go on the dashboard. There's two possible locations. We have a location there, which might, which might be the best um, idea. Um, and it'll just sit there. Or it could actually go there. And I'm really thinking it it really has to go there um, and just basically centre it with the hazard warning lights. I've actually removed the, the sticky pad and actually covered the whole pad with, um, well, I'm going to call it um, double-sided tape, which you can see I've got a roll of. So the more I think about it, the more I'm thinking it needs to fit there. So I think that's where it's going to go. Right, okay, thank you. Right. We did to actually mount it um, in the center of the hazard warning lights. I was going to mount it just beside the, the speed control. However, I think it looks much better there. I just need to, when I leave the car, just need to make sure that I disconnect it. So the next point, or the next thing I need to do is actually fix the aerial and actually follow it down the pillow which we have here just the pillow here needs to go down and then in and then under um, i've also bought which i don't have yet I've, i'm going to wire it so i don't have to use this adapter but for today what i want to do is to make sure it actually works and that it can be picked up on the radio and actually sounds good and I can get DAB radio. Okay, let's have a go fixing the aerial and tracing it down the pillar of the, the windscreen. Okay, wish me luck. Um, one of the things I need to fit is this. And this has to fit onto the, maybe the roof of the car but something which is metal. Um, and I'm thinking it really needs a good, good, good... Um, solid base and that's going to help because this is all magnetic it's just going to help with the um the signal and trying to get a good signal so i've removed the um the sun visor and i'm thinking what i'm going to try and do is just going to insert it and then down and then make sure somewhere on the roof there's a good good fixing um and that's going to provide a really good earth um, for the aerial. So, slow but sure, but again, it's all about making sure that it's a quality installation and um, it looks professional, but also I've got a good fixing. So I'm just thinking of ways of um, making it a better fixing in terms of um, a good earth. Some people said scratch the paint away, or try and mount it to a, a bolt um, or a screw. However, I don't want to scratch paint away, but that's what I've been advised um, looking at the forums on the internet. The aerial's gonna go there. You can just see there where it's going to do. I need to clean the window. But if I just, just highlight, you can just see the, um, the magnetic part. I've just scratched a little bit, made sure there's a good earth there and there's a good piece of metal there. So hopefully, That'll give a better signal, hopefully. Getting there. It's mounted, it's all secure. It's, I've hidden the cable, and if you just look, 
you can just see it's popping out there. I'm going to try and go through the glove box or behind the glove box and then to the socket here. And when the power adapter arrives, I'll probably fit the adapter somewhere in here and you won't see any of the controls. So now to fit the aerial, which I should, it's here now. So this is the aerial, this just connects on to there. So I'm just gonna make sure it connects. Peel off the double-sided tape, which I fitted. So you can see the double-sided tape just there um, and put that on. Okay, and as I always say, oh, we just pull off. the double-sided tape, this part here, and just slowly fade it down, making sure it's straight. And there's actually there's no bu air bubbles in there. I think I'm sure you do. It's this part here, and trying to put it back together. It does go back in one way, but actually, I want it really neat. So if you have a look, and I've just come back a bit, I'm going to have to glue it. So what I've done. And what I'm going to do is I've got my hot glue, hot glue gun out and I'm going to glue it so that should be okay in the head lining. That's just what, what do you do? It's, a, it's an old car. You pull up the head lining and it just starts peeling away from the, um, well it's, it's just like a polystyrene but I know if I just glue it back together there shouldn't be a problem. Okay, down. wish me luck. Hot glue gun was good. It marked the fabric slightly, but you can't really see it because of this like black, I don't know what you call it, shading, but it's actually stuck down. It's all secure. And that's what we're after, secure. That double tape I've just added to it. So that's absolutely, you know, firmly stuck it on the, you know, it's stuck on the screen. That's stuck on the screen, everything's secure. What I need to do now is actually finish the cable. It's going to go under the glove box. It's going to stay there, try it, and then take it from there. It's working. And if I just do that, you can see all the stations, which are the DAB stations. So we've got Magic there, Chilled, Magic Chilled, Chilled, Metro, which you can get anywhere. Uh, one of my favourites is uh, Jazz FM, which you can only get in DAB. And if you look down, it's even got on the, um, the cassette player CD unit, whatever you want to call it. It's got highway, so that is, I've got a, I've got a preset now. Um, so that's the normal radio, radio one, radio two, metro. But if I go to preset 20, um, that is the uh, DAB radio. And if you have a look, that's nice and tidy. If you go down, it's all tidy in the corner of, the, of it. I'm waiting for a connector, which will connect behind here. So you won't see any wires. Again, there's no trailing wires. This is battery operated. So I'm going to buy some rechargeable batteries and maybe once a week just plug it in and recharge them. But um, yeah, I'm pleased. I can't play any music for copyright um, issues. But you can see there, anybody who's got DAB will recognise some of the stations. Um, and what I'd make with, you know, Capital, I don't think you I think you can get... But, the, you know, you can't get Virgin Radio. Um, again, Absolute Virgin we've got there. So what I need to do now is to do a scan and update the radio, which I'm going to do now. But if you've liked this, you know, brilliant, you know, share, you know, subscribe, you know, click the bell. But what I have now is I've got hands-free, which you would have in a modern car. And it's all built in, so I'm happy with that. There's the microphone there. I also have now DAB and also Bluetooth music. So I can connect my phone and have Bluetooth music. I've got DAB. So I've got everything that a modern car would have in terms of entertainment and more. Because I've got a cassette player, um, which again, modern cars don't have. 
Um, but I'm actually over the moon with that. That's brilliant. That's good. I've, I've, I've had a listen to it. It sounds really good. So I'm, I'm happy with that. It's being transmitted to FM. So you're not going to get the best quality uh, that you would expect from a direct input. However, I'm allowed to keep my factory setting. I don't want to get rid of this. I've seen, you know, Pioneer and Sony Kenwood and they put them in and they look absolutely awful. Um, but when the connector comes, I'll just pull this out, go underneath where the cigarette lighter is and I'll take a power source from there. So that's it. That's brilliant. I'm over the moon with that. Right. Again, like, share, subscribe and bye for now.